I have been told for the last 30 years in this industry that if you cut with your chainsaw with a dull chain on it, it will increase the temperature of your engine, sometimes so much that it'll actually damage your engine. Is that a myth, you guys, or is that actually true? We're gonna find out today. Welcome back to Steve Small Into Saloon again, guys. Today we're gonna to do more of an information slash experiment video today. We're gonna to find out if the temperature of the engine of my chainsaw actually goes up when I cut with a dull chain as opposed to a brand new sharp chain. April, my executive producer, got me some Two Wolves beer for this video. Yum, that is actually really good smooth beer. Banggood.com, they sent me this cool little um, infrared thermometer so I could do this video also. Thank you very much Banggood for doing that. I got some uh, links on my description of this video uh, to take you back to Banggood so you can check one of these out if you want to. Check those links out. On that note, um, I'm going to be showing you the display um, for several close-ups on this video. I want you to look at the bottom right hand part of the display, the blue display. That shows you the maximum uh, temperature that this thing is recorded from the time I hit the trigger to the time I let it go. The reason I want you to look down there is because the big main display on there, the white one, that fluctuates quite wildly for a long time, about 30 seconds or so before it actually stabilizes. And by the time I let the trigger go after that stabilizes, um, what's happened is the engine's already starting to cool off and it's not that accurate. So I want you to look at the maximum temperature in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, the blue display. Look at that. I'm going to be taking the temperature through this convenient little window right on the side of the top cover of my chainsaw. Uh, that's the top of the cylinder, right through there. That's where I'm going to be shooting that laser in there. The top of the cylinder is the hottest part of the engine. I'll show you what I mean right now. This is a video right here I took of a stone cold chainsaw. This is before I started doing the cutting. This thing has been sitting all night long. It's as cold as it can possibly be. Now you see in the little blue display there, it comes up with 46 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Celsius. Here's what it looks like when it's warmed up. I started the saw, I warmed it up, let it idle for about three minutes. And this is what it came up with right here. So what'd that come up with? 157 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 70 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna start cutting some wood. I gotta tell you guys uh, right now that I wanted to keep this two tests, the test between the sharp chain and the dull chain as even as I could. So what, um, what I did, I used the same chain, this is steel brand chain, on the obviously the same chainsaw, this is my steel MS-230. The only difference between the two chains is one is brand new, sharp, never cut wood. The other one is dull. I also use the same wood. This is all the blocks that you see me cut, all the ones that I've tested with are all off of the same tree. And I also, what you're going to see is me doing three cuts. Off camera, I actually did way more cutting than this. What I found was that after three cuts, the temperature did not increase at all with the sharp chain or the dull chain. I went right up to 10 cuts and ch kept checking it with that thermometer 
The temperature did not change after three cuts all the way up to 10. Let's go. Here's cutting with a brand new chain right here. So that came up with 225 degrees Fahrenheit, 107 degrees Celsius. That doesn't sound very hot to me. So now I went and pulled, pulled out my dull chain. And you're going to see on this next clip here, when I'm cutting with this, you're going to see the difference. It's dull. I am digging that in. I am pushing hard on that chain, trying to make it cut. Painful for you guys to watch probably doing three cuts, but I have to do three cuts to keep it even. Here you go. Dull chain. <laughs> So you saw what the difference was there. You saw it's 286 degrees Fahrenheit, 141 degrees Celsius. According to my calculations, that's about a 27% increase from a brand new chain to a severely dull chain. So is 286 degrees Fahrenheit, 141 degrees Celsius, is that too hot for your chainsaw? Is that going to actually damage the engine? on your chainsaw? I really don't know. I did some research on the melting point of aluminum, which is what the cylinder and the piston is made out of. The melting point of those is 1200 degrees Fahrenheit and 600 degrees Celsius. So are you going to damage your engine by doing what I did? I don't know. Certainly didn't damage my chainsaw. 
But I think that the key point here is that yes, the temperature of your engine does increase fairly significantly, 27%, if you cut with a dull chain. Keep your chain sharp. As soon as you feel like you're pushing on that, you're cutting wood and you're like, come on, cut, and you're pushing on that, you know the chain's dull, stop and sharpen your chain. It's better for your chainsaw. I do believe you're gonna get better life out of your chainsaw by keeping it cooler. Um, I do have a video already on my channel. I got a little link up here in your top right corner. Uh, a video, it's a, quite an in-depth video, a little bit long, but it takes you through all the ins and outs of sharpening your chainsaw. So that was just a little experiment I've wanted to do for a long time now. I thought I, would, I was gonna do that now, and I would share it with you guys while I was doing it. On that note, if you liked it, give me that thumbs up button. Share it with your friends too if you want. Subscribe if you already haven't. As far as a little uh, review goes on this thermometer that uh, got, I got from Banggood, not really much of a review to do. I mean, it's got a beautiful color display on the back. It does what it's supposed to. It's accurate. I actually really love this thing. It's worth every penny, I think, of what you're going to pay for it when you go back to that uh, link on my description and see what the, these actually cost. Not bad. Thank you very much, Banggood, for sending me that. I really appreciate it. Two Wolves beer. Steve out.